Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Jarek Bryan Show. My name is Jarek, and on this show we're going to be covering NFTs, crypto, and anything blockchain related. Now the bulk of my content will be covering NFTs uh, from different blockchains. Uh, I definitely want to cover Solana, Cardano, Ethereum, Aptos, Sui, Arbitrum, XRP, you guys name it. As long as the artwork is great and the dev team checks out, I will be covering it. Now, I will start off with this, that the bulk of my content will be uh, heavily focused on this one certain ecosystem that I believe is very underrated and very undervalued, and that is Polygon. Now, when you think of Polygon, you, know, you think of NFTs that are pretty much a scam, those scam ones you find in your wallet, and you, know, you don't really think there's not much going on with Polygon, but I'm here to tell you, friend, there's a lot going on with Polygon. Polygon has a lot of great devs, they're doing a lot of great things, and a lot of projects have a lot to offer on Polygon, it's about time you guys check out what Polygon has to offer. Now, these projects I'm going to be covering are going to be in no particular order. Um, these are just some of the projects that I first encountered when I got onto Polygon. Now, we'll go ahead and start off with Utes. And now, what I will say about Utes, you know, um, it did bring a lot of hype when it migrated over here because it migrated over to Polygon. And, you know, a lot of people thought there was going to be a lot of, like, you know, money and hype. And which it did bring a lot of money and hype. But after that died down and, you know, people kind of forgot about Polygon. And now, Utes is moving. And, you know, um, guys, we're not going to pull any punches on the show. We're definitely not going to um, be scared to ask the difficult questions or anything like that. Um, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It really did. It really did rub me the wrong way in a sense of I don't think that they gave Polygon a chance. You know, I love what Frank's doing over there with D-Gods and everything like that. I wish them well. I don't want to bring them down or anything like that or talk bad about them. I just do think that they didn't really kind of try. They kind of brought bought into the FUD that Polygon did not have a lot going on, which we do. And, you know, guys, these projects I'm covering have a ton of stuff going on. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. And let's go into Brozos. Now, Brozos aims to bring luxury fashion to web3 now i will say this guys as you can see right here this project and this artwork is something that i have never seen before and i know a lot of influencers tell you that stuff guys and feed you that bs that like guys the latest greatest thing and this artwork is so freaking amazing and oh my god yada 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 but guys this is something that's truly different i have never seen something like this before and what i mean by that is, guys is that it's not a ape it's not a kong it's not a cat it's not a dog or anything like that it is something completely different and it drew me to them when i first got here now the devs are donnie and teddy and of course they're right here guys all this stuff's going to be on their website very smooth website there's donnie right here um teddy of course and what's so different about this team guys actually what's so different about polygon is that I've never seen devs or a dev team be super active on Discord or Twitter or X or whatever the hell it's called now. But it doesn't take me a long time to get used to that. But these guys are so active. They're on the Discord. They're on Twitter. You know, they're out there just, you know, answering questions, you know, from all like, you know, the nerds and virgins that, you know, complain about the floor price or everything like that. They sit there, you know, and they take it. And these guys have Twitter spaces, you know, every week two times wednesday and saturday i'll have their stuff pinned down at the bottom guys so you guys can check it out because i know you guys are on different time zones so you can see which one you can check out but in these spaces you can learn about brozos you can learn about um you know the things they have coming up and i have been in those spaces i'm very active on twitter spaces guys so follow me at, at hey it's uh hey it's jarek or x or whatever the hell it's called now but these guys i've seen donnie answer the same question week after week and never get tired he's very passionate about brozos and guys that should be a green flag to you because whenever you're kind of um doing your research on these projects and of course none of this is financial advice always do your own research but when you're doing your research one of the things that you kind of look for in a project that it, if the dev team is very active like you know a lot of these teams that um were here in the last bull run kind of like ghosted you they weren't really around but that's not the case with this team and one of the other things do that I love that because every project has staking now, guys. You know, a lot of these projects are coming out, they're gonna be have a lot of buzzwords and you know, hey, we have staking, metaverse, and yada yada yada. But these guys are putting their own spin on staking, and it is just super cool. Now they're gonna have missions, right? No, so with staking, you're gonna get points, right? You're not gonna get a token or anything like that, and these points are gonna accumulate over time, right? So you're gonna be able to use them 
um, with some of the, like, you know, the fashion that they're going to have coming out too, which I will go over that here in a little bit, the luxury fashion or other things too that they haven't released as well. But these missions, you're when you buy a Brozo, each Brozo is going to have a career or a certain district. So when you buy these Brozos, and let's just say for this mission of this month or this week requires a cashier, and your Brozo happens to be a cashier, you can earn double XP. And that is freaking super cool. And it's just like a different spin, guys, because like they're not doing the same thing that every other project is doing. They're putting their own little touch on it, and I love uh, what they're doing. Now, the luxury fashion you know, is top-notch, guys. They have teased it. They haven't really released it just yet. And I know a lot of NMT merch is very meh. You know, a lot of it's pretty crappy, I'm not gonna lie. You know, um, it has been very kind of just, you know, very disappointing, but not Brozos. You can tell by the stitching and everything like that. You can go on their X and you can see what they kind of got going on. But I can't wait to rock a Brozo hoodie or a Brozo hat. So uh, Donnie, go ahead and send me some samples, please. But the Ordinal Collection, guys. So I wanna show you the Ordinal Collection. This is probably one of my favorite things about them too as well. Check out this Ordinal Collection right here. I mean, look at this. Now this is, now what Ordinals are is basically NFTs on Bitcoin. Now we'll be releasing a uh, YouTube video on here about Ordinals to kind of get you guys familiar with Ordinals and which wallets to use and everything like that. So be on the lookout for that. We do like to educate on this channel too as well. But guys, look at this. Look at this artwork here. Look at this. this I just love what they got going on here too. And the regular artwork too on Brozos too as well is just as good. Um, I just love how clean this looks and definitely they all, each one of these, like they have the pimp dial right here because each one of these, uh, each one of these Brozos has certain traits that you can get in a certain dial. So like they have the pimp dial, of course the most popular one, the most active one, active one or the Brolex dial right here. Um, Brolex is the most active. They have their own Twitter space. Uh, they have their own Twitter, their own Twitter spaces. Um, they have their own like multi, they have their own wallet. And it's just like these guys are constantly active, raiding and everything like that. And I just love what Brozos has to offer. Um, I will say this guys though, but possibly like my most favorite thing about Brozos is the Brozos Studio. Now with the Brozos Studio is basically, it's, it's a two part thing. So if you have an NFT project and you're thinking about starting one and you don't know where to go, go to the Brozo Studio. Now they will interview you. You will have to dox yourself. None of this, you know, not doxing yourself or, you know, mysterious deaths or anything like that. Those times are over, guys. Come on, let's be better. They will interview you and they will definitely see what you kind of have to offer though. But if you're gonna need if you're gonna need help with, you know, uh, marketing, software, or anything like that, Brozo's got you covered. But this other thing, the second part of Brozo Studio that I love the most is going to be they're going to be able to get you experience in getting a job in web3 you guys and if you're like me right and i know most of you in here are wanting that a full-time web3 job you know brozo studios will help you because this space guys is really unknown we don't know exactly in web3 what we need do we need a degree do we don't do we need like a marketing degree you know nobody knows this is a very new space and i just love the fact that brozos is helping you navigate through these tough you know waters so love the fact of that and they're also going to have domain names. Now, if you're familiar with the name, domain names like .eth or .ada or anything like that, their domain names are going to be .bro, which should be released here shortly. And I can't wait to rock a Jarek.bro or a Am I a Joke to You.bro. Also, that's another shot at Donnie because Donnie hates me. And uh, just kidding. But I love that is some genius marketing .bro domain names. And I just love that this whole team is just, you know, just super active and everything like that. Now, I will say this though, guys, uh, the Discord too, because I am going to have all this stuff pinned down. You do have to have a Brozo to get in the Discord. And I think that's very cool and that's very kind of like an exclusive club. So get you a Brozo. They're decently priced, guys. And uh, hop in the Discord and check check them out. Now, the next project I'm going to be going over, with, over is a project that I'm going to actually have to cover in its own episode. Just because this ecosystem is so big and they have so much going on, they need their own episode. And that's going to be Manifest Labs. Now, Manifest Labs aims to be the Marvel Universe of Web3. And they want to be the Yuga Labs of Polygon. Now, Mr. Mint right here. Let me go ahead and show you Mr. Mint right here. And he's very active on Twitter spaces and everything like that too as well. That's kind of like the general sent sentiment in Polygon. That all these devs, all these founders, they don't hide, they don't do anything like that. They're very active, very in your face, and they'll definitely answer all the questions um, that you have. So, Mr. Mint, say what you want to say about the guy. You know, I love the guy. 
I love what he brings to the table. I love what he brings to Polygon. You know, he does kind of rub people the wrong way. And, um, you know, some people don't like how confident he is or anything like that. I love it. I love, you know, everything he does. I love the vision he has. I trust the guy. And, guys, not financial advice. As always, guys, do your own research. I'm very heavy in Manifest Labs. So let's go ahead and start off with the first project within Manifest Labs, and that is Alpha. Now, Alpha is the Genesis collection on Polygon, and you get so many perks with having an Alpha. You get airdrops. You're going to get access to the special Manifest Labs tool that I will definitely go over in the next episode. And um, the artwork, guys, is just amazing. You're also going to get an art upgrade, too, as well, so I will definitely go over that. But look how clean this artwork is. Look how, look how crazy. Look at all these freaking different traits. Look how all this is layers. The one-on-ones that they have here. It's just amazing. They also have a Ordinal Rangers collection that I think is just, you know, super amazing. Like I said, guys, Ordinals are basically NFTs on Bitcoin. We'll be going over that. Be on the lookout for that. But Alpha is going to have its own lore. And they are going to get an art upgrade. And just everything about this I love. You know, it's kind of weird that, you know, being Latino that I love Alice. But, you know. You know how that goes, guys. This artwork is just crazy. You know, I love it. And the next one I want to talk about is Galactic Eagles. Now, Galactic Eagles is my favorite. I own a lot of Galactic Eagles, not financial advice, guys. And this was a free airdrop. So let's say you had 50 alphas. You got 50 Galactic Eagles free. Now, the Eagles right here love the artwork. They're going to get an art upgrade, too, as well. They're going to be a part of the lore. And what I love about this ecosystem, that they're going to have... Um, comic books, they're going to have manga, they're going to have animated films and everything like that. And all these different IPs within this ecosystem will all tie together. Kind of like a Infinity War or like an Endgame, you know, things like that. But I love Galactic Eagles. And guys, like I said, it was a free airdrop. So you could have used this airdrop. And this is what I love about Mr. Mint. He preaches take your profits. So let's say if you had had a good chunk of Galactic Eagles, because these guys went from free to about a 300, 400 Matic all-time high. You could have used that for yourself. You could have used that to invest back into the Manifest Labs ecosystem. You could have used it to invest it in other projects. But the key thing is, guys, it was your choice. And he's preaching take your profits. So I love a kind of ecosystem and a, and a project that's constantly giving back to its holders. Now, the next project I'll talk about is Bamba, which is going to be on Solana, guys. And what I love about this, and it's very ballsy, because it's hard enough to have success within your own ecosystem, but to have success in another ecosystem. To go on that blockchain, which is Solana, mint out, which the mint was crazy. Me, try, I didn't even get a whitelist, guys. I was grinding for weeks to try to get a whitelist. I couldn't get one. Everybody wanted it. And even try to buy on secondary. Those things were snatched up super quick. Um, it is just crazy to do that much volume. The Solana hadn't had that volume in a long time. Bombas came in there. You know, they did their thing. They showed out. You know, Bombas is going to get a game, which is going to be kind of like a Minesweeper-like game. They're going to get, like, um, they're also going to get airdrops, too, as well. They are going to be the Genesis collection on Solana, just like how Alpha is the Polygon. is the same thing uh, for here. Bombas is just, like I said, it's a huge monster. They have staking too. And you're also, there's gonna be so many different things you're gonna get with the Bomba, but it's on Solana. So if you like Solana, you can definitely check out Bombas. Now, the other project I'm gonna to talk to you about here, actually, you know, actually, before we go into the guys, look at, look at this artwork here. Look at all this. They're also gonna get an art upgrade too. I don't know if I brought that up already, guys, but they're getting an art upgrade. Also, guys, in any collection in Manifest Labs, when you start kind of doing your research, anything with a crown is alpha. So we have a crown. Definitely uh, snatch you one up if you can afford it, though, because crowns will get you uh, different perks and actually um, upgraded perks, too, as well. So please grab yourself a crown. Now, Ring Runners is a strategy based kind of like staking type game that's going to be coming. And it's basically consists of a droid, a fox or um, a snake. Now, I'm personally team fox. And from what I understand, then this kind of the little that's been released about this. They're kind of like the villains of the whole kind of a ecosystem here within um alpha and as i'm saying i love the fact that they have a plan like these guys are, are the villains and i just love the fact there's going to be like a comic book style kind of touch to it now not a lot's been released about the game now there are going to be ships coming that you need to own a certain amount of ring runners and possible metaverse land but definitely check out ring runners though because the ring runner game um from what mr menace said is going to be amazing now 
The next project I want to talk to you about is Region 79. Now, this is a project that did not begin on uh, Manifest Labs. Manifest Labs did not start this project. This project was close to actually being dead, guys. Um, Manifest Labs purchased this. They saw the potential with Region 79. And if you guys want a cheap entry point into Manifest Labs, right here is um, your chance. Because let's look at the floor price right here, 0.9 sold. And that's pretty cheap. You want to grab you a couple right here. They do have a game right now that's in beta. And they're going to have their own place within the whole lore of Manifest Labs. So please check that out. And guys, when I talk about Manifest Labs, right, they have so many things going on that I just can't cover in one episode. But they're also, what they're doing too, is they're also incorporating Web 2. And I think, guys, with any kind of project that's going to be coming out, if they don't really have a strong Web 2 kind of tie-in i don't think they're going to be really successful you know that's kind of my opinion right there but manifest labs is doing that they're going to have you know animated films they're going to have possible um gaming studios and esports team he's doing so many different things and also an energy drink too as well hoot energy and they're just this guy is just killing it right now mr mint and i just love the vision and i'm 100 percent on board with what they got going on guys but check out episode two it's going to be a banger we're going to have a whole episode dedicated to manifest labs and what they've got going on but i will go ahead and go into wreck dogs now wreck dogs you know i love the team and i will say this guys about wreck dogs wreck dogs was one of the first teams that welcomed me with open arms and what i mean by that is guys i came into the discord i really didn't know much right and usually if you've been here for a while, you know, you go into these discourse, people kind of ignore you if you kind of knew, right? And, uh, or they tell you, just check out the announcements, kind of like, you know, do it yourself though. But these guys took the time. They sat down with me and um, they actually, some of the devs like, you know, DM'd me too as well and kind of talked about what they kind of got going on and everything like that, guys. And it's just something that's very rare. They didn't tell me to go to hell, go, you know, go just kind of like, you know, get out of here or anything like that. They took the time and just look... Look how, and they have a website too, guys. Very smooth too as well. Staking is life for them too as well. But I want to talk about the warp traits. So you're going to be able to actually upgrade these traits or change these traits. Um, I will have Manny on from the Rec Dogs. We're going to be doing interviews. Because guys, what this show is going to be kind of about is that I'm going to bring on these projects. We're going to interview them. We're going to ask ask the tough questions, right guys? We're going to figure out what they what they're trying to do and everything like that. And I will also be taking questions uh, from the audience too as well. So uh, once that kind of gets rolled out, guys, and I get that kind of figured out, I will have uh, you guys DM me questions and some of the stuff that you want to know, I'll definitely um, keep that in mind. But Manning's going to be on. He's going to be the first interview we're going to have here on this channel. And he's going to kind of go more in depth about what Rick Dogs has going on and some of the traits too as well because it is pretty intriguing that that – um, you're going to have to stake a certain amount. You're going to get the wreck token. So I definitely want him on because I don't want to butcher it or anything like that, though. But he was kind enough to come on, guys. So be on the lookout for that interview. Manny with the wreck dogs. He's coming on. Now, the next project I want to talk to you guys about is Drill Club. Now, Drill Club, reason why I wanted to cover them, because not only the community, because I, I will go into the community, too, as well, what they got going on. But these guys were a free guys free mint that rose i want to say it was close to a 400 matic all-time high and guys i will say this you know every community here on polygon is pretty strong but these guys show up they raid like crazy they're on spaces they're everywhere there's pfp of drill club everywhere you know the artwork is you know top notch too as well they have a website but this community is passionate about drill club they're also gonna have an ordinals collection too coming out as well and i'm possible comics too as well so be on the lookout for that guys but let's go ahead and check out this artwork right here and oh man like, look at this guys remember guys this was a free mint look at that 121 matic right now free to 121 so if you bought a whole bunch of these guys and you're, you're a hella in profits right now guys and of course of course this all these projects right here are going to be on magic eden magic eden if you're watching this please give me a sponsor please um just kidding but no magic eden and um you can go on and check out some of these projects or open c though but magic isn't preferred and look at this guys these different traits or anything like that is just so freaking nice they have so many sub dows too as well like i said the ordinal collection is coming so hop into the discord check them out they're very welcoming too as well guys and i'm going to go ahead and close the show guys on here the first episode of the Jarek bryan show and i will say this guys um if you like content like this 
and you want more of it and you want to stay up to date with the latest mints too as well please like comment subscribe download share much appreciated follow me on x or twitter or follow me on my x's uh at at hey it's Jarek. and guys i will check you all guys out on the blockchain and i'll see y'all next week